This tutorial will show you how to create and run Python 3 code in a Jupyter Notebook, rather than creating and running a Python script. We're looking at Chapter 1.8, Writing a Program in the Python for Everybody course. In this lesson, they execute a Python script that prints the string, Hello World. We're going to create a Jupyter Notebook in NanoHub that does the same thing. The Python script and the IPython notebook will look very similar, but there are slight differences, for example, in the file extension used. In this other tab, I'm in my home directory, and I have my Jupyter Notebook program open in NanoHub. First, we'll go into the Notebooks directory, so click on Notebooks. Then we'll go into the PY4E directory, click on PY4E. Here we're going to create a new directory for this exercise. From the drop-down menu, New, select Folder, rename the folder to Hello. Click on Hello to enter that directory. This is where we're going to create our first Python 3 notebook. This time, from the new drop-down menu, select Python 3. This creates a new tab, which is a Jupyter notebook. I'm running the Python 3 kernel, and we are in a code cell. In this code cell, begin to print the following. Print open parenthesis, single quote, hello world. I'll put a period there. Notice that the color changes. So the print function shows up in green, and the string hello world, that is the argument of the print function, shows up in red. This is because the Jupyter Notebook is an intelligent text editor that understands or recognizes Python 3 syntax. To run this, you can click the Run button or hold down the Shift key and then press Return or Enter. That executes the cell, and you can see the text Hello World is printed right beneath it. If we want to edit this, for example, make this a capital Hello World, you can go back to that same code cell, make your edit, and then rerun the cell. And you'll see the new output showing up below the code cell. Notice that when we run the, the cell a second time, the number in the square brackets increments. If we were more excited about saying hello, we could add an exclamation point and run the cell again. And there we have hello world with an exclamation point, and you'll notice the cell number is now three. From here, we will save this file and rename by clicking on untitled, and we'll call this file hello. Click rename, and that should be saved. To check, go back to your Jupyter dashboard. That's this first tab. And in the dashboard, we're in the hello directory, under PY4E, under notebooks, under the home directory. And here is the hello.ipynb, or IPython notebook file. You can see that it's running. That's also indicated by the green color here.